Hello and welcome to Talent Sprint. So now in this session we will discuss about the making of Indian constitution. So first the freedom fighters to the common masses so many people have struggled for our independence for a lot of years or many years. So the D-Day has come to make Indian constitution for the coming independent India. So first we will start with the making of Indian constitution. So this is the logo of the constant assembly which has made our Indian constitution. So first the constitution was prepared by the constant assembly which was set up for the making of Indian constitution. Next the idea of constant assembly. This group was given by the pioneer called M. N. Roy. Who is M. N. Roy? Manabendra Nath Roy. He is a communist leader. He was a person behind the establishment of Communist Party of India in the year 1925. But he has given the idea of constant assembly in the year 1934. So next, under the cabinet mission plan in the year 1946, the constitution was written under the constant assembly. So what, who were the members of constant assembly? There were three members, Sir Stafford Cripps, Pethick Lawrence and A.V. Alexander. These were the three members of cabinet mission plan. Under the cabinet mission plan, the constant assembly was formed. So this assembly had the work of to write a new constitution for the coming independent India. The constant assembly had 389 members, out of which 15 were women. Okay, out of total 389 members. So out of total 389 members, we had 292 members who were elected from the members of, who were elected by the members of provincial legislative assemblies. So these were assemblies from the provinces. Provinces means these are ruled by the British. Okay, 292 members were elected by the members of provincial legislative assemblies. So can we call it as indirect election? Yes. So they were indirectly elected and next 93 were chosen from princely states from the princely states what are these princely states princely states are those which are ruled by the Indian kings like example is Nizam of Hyderabad is a princely state ruled by Indian king 93 were chosen from Indian princely states next four people were from chief commissioner provinces so these were ruled by the chief commissioners appointed by the British so these were Delhi, Ajmer, Kurg and Baluchistan. So Delhi, you know, Ajmer is in Rajasthan, Kurg is in Karnataka, present Karnataka and Baluchistan is in present Pakistan. So these were the total 389 members which were a group of constant assembly who had the work of to write a new constitution for the coming independent India. Okay, moving on to the next slide. So when was the first session of constant assembly was held? So it was held on 9th December 1946. So this was the first session. Totally it had 11 sessions. So the 11 session was ended on 26th November 1949. So totally it had 11 sessions. Starting from the first session on 9th December and the 11th session on 26th November. Okay. So totally it made for... 2 years, 11 months and 18 days. So this was the total time taken by the constant assembly to write our new constitution for the coming independent India. So after independence, so when the country was partitioned on 15th August 1947, so only out of 389 members, only 299 members were left on to the Indian side. Okay. So our constitution came into force on 26th November. 1949 next so on 24 january 1950 out of those 299 members 284 members have gathered to sign on the constant assembly so on 26 january 1950 the constitution of india came into force so that means we have become a republic from 26 january 1950 okay so this is the constitution of the constituent assembly. So moving on to the next slide. Who was a temporary president of 
constituent assembly so for first two days it was sachidananda sinha dr sachidanand sinha he was the temporary president of the constituent assembly next who was the president of constituent assembly and from the third day it was rajendra prasad who became the later first president of india so he was the president of the constituent assembly from the third day onwards so till he, the last 26th november 1949 he was the president of the constituent assembly moving on who is the vice president of constituent assembly it is harindra kumar mukherjee hc mukherjee then who is the constitutional advisor to the constituent assembly it is benagal narsingh rao bn rao okay next is drafting committee of constituent assembly this is a photo of drafting committee of constituent assembly it had around seven members in it and who is the chairman of drafting committee it is dr bhim rao ambedkar so drafting committee has a work of to write the constitution okay so there were 23 committees in total out of the total constituent assembly okay out of them some are important for us for the examination so important include drafting committee it has how many members seven members so the chairman of the drafting committee was dr b r ambedkar and its members includes k m munshi syed mohammed sadullah gopal swami ayengar allah krishna swami ayer d p kaitan later he has died he was replaced by t t krishnamachari and BL Mitter was replaced by N Madhav Rao. So all these were members of the drafting committee. What was their work? Their work was to write a new constitution for the coming independent India. Drafting committee had the work of writing the constitution. And there were other committees who had their respective works. So first is fundamental rights committee. So fundamental rights committee was headed by Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Okay, what does the committee do? It will write the new fundamental rights for the coming independent India in the constitution. Next is rules committee and steering committee. So rules committee means it will write rules. Steering committee means it coordinate all the committees. So these two were headed by Rajendra Basad. Steering committee and rules committee were headed by him. Next by Jawaharlal Nehru. Union constitution committee. Union Powers Committee, States Committee, all these were headed by Jawaharlal Nehru. Constitution Committee, Union Powers Committee and States Committee were headed by Jawaharlal Nehru. Next is Fundamental Rights Subcommittee. It was headed by J.B. Kriplani. Okay. And next is Minority Subcommittee. It was headed by Harindra Kumar Mukherjee. That is H.C. Mukherjee. So finally, these were the important committees which we have out of the 23 committees which were present in the Constituent Assembly. So on 26 November 1949, the Constitution was adopted actually. So how many articles it had? 395 articles. Okay. So out of them, they were divided into 22 parts. So 22 parts was divided into 395 articles and plus 8 schedules were present. So 22 parts divided into 395 articles and 8 schedules we had on 26 November 1949. On 26 January 1950, so we had, it was divided into 25 parts. 25 parts were divided into 440 plus articles and 12 schedules. So 4 schedules were added later. So now we have totally 25 parts divided into 440 articles plus 12 schedules. So this is the making of Indian constitution in detail. So thank you for watching this session. We will meet in the next session. Thank you so much.